According to a report from Deadline, Daisy Ridley is at the top of the list to make the lead to take the lead role of Laura Croft in the Warner Brothers and MGM's reboot of Tomb Raider. The newest reinterpretation based on the hit gaming series has been in the works for a while and is now gaining some momentum. Deadline sources do caution that it is still incredibly early in the casting process, but that Ridley's name is at the top of a short list of actresses the producers are considering. The new reboot will be directed by Norwegian filmmaker Roar Utag. A release date has yet to be announced. Dennis, thoughts on Daisy Ridley playing Laura Croft in a Tomb Raider reboot? Uh, I think she would play a good Laura Croft, but I mean, there's there's a lot of people that, that could do that. I think Alicia Vikander, Felicity Jones, Lily James, a bunch of other actors actresses could fit that role um i played the rebooted version that was in that came out in 2013 and it was a a a nice new kind of modern retelling having her start from the beginning her like kind of like an origin story for her and i like that and you know daisy really played kind of a that type of role in Star Wars, so I, I could see a good fit. I've never seen a, a, a movie that the, the director, what's his name, Roar Utah. He, he did Roar. a movie called The Wave, which which I think critically got a lot of praise to it, but I haven't seen it personally. What do you think, Josh? I uh, this is one of those situations where you know you have the you have the hot hand, right? She's she's coming fresh off Star Wars. Already everybody loved her. She was the breakout star, at least in my mind, of that movie. It almost feels like a square peg going in a round hole. Like, maybe go towards somebody that isn't so hot right now, that doesn't have a franchise behind it. Not that there's anything wrong with with Daisy Ridley, but, you know, we've already seen Tomb Raider. We've seen Angelina Jolie crush that role. Was 2013 the last released Tomb Raider game? No, no, they had one last year, but okay. the t- 2013 was when they actually rebooted the franchise and kind of gave it a new look and feel to it. Right. Um, so... I don't know. Like, is it a little too much of like Daisy Ridley overconsumption kind of thing? I don't know. I mean, she'd kill it. We'd obviously know she'd kill that role. I'm so on the fence with this. I don't know. I would just have to say this to you. <laughs> uh, I love this choice, but no, I understand what you're saying completely. But I think that you're. I hope that that's the only casting list is that list that you brought up there. Dennis brought in hot. Any one of those actresses that you brought up, I would be more than okay with. I think could absolutely. I, I like Lily James. I think I'd probably is the only one I might say I, I wouldn't be upset, but I'd probably take her off the list as opposed to Vikander and uh, Felicity Jones. And but listen, Felicity Jones is also going to have a big franchise with Star Wars as well, mm-hmm. and Vikander, Oscar winner as well too. You know, so we're the, waiting for a franchise. For her. Waiting for a franchise for her. So I think Vikander would be a good choice, but I think Daisy really. So what? She typecast it as a badass. Is that a bad thing? I think that we need we it, she we know that she could do it. We know that it, it worked in uh, in Star Wars, and this is a different character. And I think she looks like Laura Croft. Um, and yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you that side by side right there. So and what I also think that it does though to whether or not it's like, well, is that too much Daisy Ridley because you're going to get her in Episode Eight and Episode Nine? Mm-hmm. You it it we know that for for her to come into this franchise, Force Awakens. And after doing one movie that she was on set for for like two weeks, she had never done anything, and crush it the way that she did, let's see her acting chops. Let's mm-hmm. see if she can make us say that's not Ray and that's Laura Croft. I would love to see them give her the opportunity to say that's the kind of actress she is. That's how she's going to get people to say, okay, that's that's she was able to make me forget. There are some actors and actresses that can do that. It's hard. But mm-hmm. give her the shot. I think she looks, I think it's perfect. Well, it's funny kind of what you're saying. It's like, is this too much Daisy Ridley? We have to remember, she's been in one movie, know, right? Yeah, but it's, it was the biggest movie. It was, yeah. but it's yeah. not like a situation. Remember like those years where like, damn. Like, Natalie how, Portman. Yeah, like yeah. why is Natalie Portman in four or five movies? Why is yeah. Kevin Hart in seven movies this year? <laughs> yeah. She's been in one movie. It's just we think of it because there's so much hype and publicity around it. We, we talk about her all the time. But she was really... In one movie, we're not getting her next movie until uh, 2017, True. and then thereafter. So it's not like she's oversaturated. It's just because Star Wars is Star Wars, so you see her face everywhere. Right. I'd just like to point out two things. One, the first time Kevin Hart and Daisy Ridley have been mentioned compared in the same sentence. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> and uh, Laura Croft doesn't exactly say like, "Show me your acting chops." No, no what what I mean is not necessarily. Act, it, it does because the what you're doing is you're, it's a completely different. It's a different character yeah. for as far as the the background goes too. But what it's it's being able to show your acting chops to make me forget that you were Ray. Because if she plays Laura Croft the same way she plays Ray and acts the same way she did, then it's like okay, that's just the same character. But if her acting made her choices 
because the character any it does show acting chops because she's going to have to make choices to make us think differently. Mm -hmm. That's her, on her as an actress to yeah. do that. Yeah. Any chance? I know a lot of fans want this to happen, but the voice actress Camila Luddington, I think, is her name that did the voice for for uh, Lara Croft in the new games. Any chance that she she gets that role? Probably not. No, nah, they're gonna go. They're gonna go recognizable face. Yeah. Uh, like, not necessarily a big star, but recognizable face. Sort of like Broadway to movies. They don't ever. They rarely take the Broadway actor yeah. to the movie. A case in point why it didn't work was Jersey Boys. Uh, they took like that whole cast. Clint Eastwood tried and put right. the Broadway cast, and it kind of bombed. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's next? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.